Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Hopefully, some of you guys that are viewing this are new. As you can see by my channel and by the title, this is to do with the Championship 2019-20 season. As you know by my channel, I'm a Barnsley FC supporter, vlogger, and I do videos about the club and about the league we're in. Obviously, last year it was based around League 1 because that's the league that we're in. And now in the Championship, and as you can see by the title, this channel is going to be completely championship based while Barnes are in the championship, which hopefully will be more than for this one season. Like I say, some of you guys hopefully are viewers from the championship and hopefully have found my channel, obviously, because we are new comers into the championship. So if you are new, please subscribe. I haven't uploaded in the last couple of weeks, nearly months, I think, since the season's end, because I haven't known what to do. I did a season round up the other day but this is the first video to do with the championship and it's just going to be championship based content now through to the end of the season in this video i'm going to be talking about the stuff i'm going to be doing through the season in the championship and i'm going to need some of y'all guys' feedback to what i need to be doing this season as i want to grow my channel as much as possible so let's first get into what we're going to be doing on the channel if you followed me for last season, you will have known I vlogged every single home game, besides one because I was on holiday, but every single home game I went to, I vlogged, and every single away game I went to, I vlogged. So yeah, I'm going to be doing my vlogs again, they're going to be getting better quality throughout the season, better equipment, better editing software, stuff like that, better, better, better. Um, my views really started to pick up towards the end of the season, last season, because I, I really enjoyed doing it, and I made my content better, and I got my viewers, so yeah. Um, hopefully I can get a lot more viewers in the championship now because there's going to be bigger support, bigger followings, bigger supports, more people viewing from other teams in the championship. So yeah, like I say, I'm going to be doing my vlogs definitely for every game I go to. I'm going to go into a majority of the away games. I think more than half of the away games I'll be going to this season, a lot more than last season. I only went to about six last year, so that says a lot. I'm going to do a lot more away games this year. So, yeah, if you are new, subscribe for that and vlogs. Like I say, I'm going to be doing my vlogs for every game I go to. And as, as you saw by last season, I made my own thumbnails throughout the season. That's going to be the same this year. Some will be similar, some will be different, depending on the game and that. And also, I used to do match previews before, and I did some match reviews after. But I think the theme and the style I'm going to go for next year is I don't think I'll be doing many match previews unless it's a big game. Like say we pull someone good like Man United in the cup or something like that. But what I'm going to be doing is for every game I don't go to, I will be doing a match review on that after sat and talking about the commentary and the tweets and other people's videos I've seen. That's for the games I don't go to, so I can still update, update you guys on my thoughts of the videos and that. So yeah, I'll be doing the vlogs and them videos as well. Up to the season, I'm going to be doing stuff like my table predictions, uh, the fixture release, uh, kit, kit reveals, stuff like that. When people reveal the new kits, I know a couple of teams have revealed the new kits so far. But once we find out everyone's new kits, I might go through and rank them. Before the season starts, I could do a ranking the best away support and then do another one at end of the season, see how much that changed. But if you've got any other ideas, let me know. I've got a couple in mind, like them, what I've said, and a couple more. So hopefully, we can kick on from a good YouTube career in the championship and hopefully my views and subscribers can go up as I haven't uploaded in a while. So like I say, we'll be doing the vlogs for every video and I'm going to be doing the previews for the games that I don't go to. But they're going to be the main things. Also, say if it's like a midweek and there's either cup games on or some games like, not just championship based, but sometimes even Premier League or Champions League and stuff like that, I might do what I used to do, which is where I li live stream me watching the game and my live reaction. Because when I did that last year, I got quite a few views. I didn't do it towards the end of the season because I wasn't feeling too motivated. I just stuck to my vlogs and that were it. But yeah, I'm going to be doing that. Hopefully, if you guys want to see it, let me know in the comments. Uh, live streams of like my live reactions to the game. And like, say if there's a 
big derby game like Man United and Man City, just do my live reaction or say if there's like a really big underdog game like someone from League Two, pull someone in the Premier League, do my live reaction to that. Or say if England are in a big semi final like the playing Euro the playing UEFA Nations League semi final against Netherlands soon. I could do a live stream for that, live reaction, let me know. Obviously I wouldn't be able to show the stream because of copyright issues. But I can sit here and do my live reaction while live streaming into it. I got and it's a good way to interact with you fans. So yeah. So we'll be definitely doing all them build up videos like I've told you. My vlogs for the games I go to, the reviews I do, and them live streams. Also, if you are a fellow vlogger and you want to either collab in the games, even if I don't go to the games, I can still send clips. We could like send clips to each other. I give each other shout outs before the game, give each other match predictions and that. I did it last season with a guy called SHD who was a Bradford fan. Unfortunately, we're not in their league anymore. As you know, they got relegated. We got promoted. And I also did a bit with Ben Knapman, who is a fellow Fleetwood fan. Go check their channel outs as well. But yeah, if any of you guys uh fellow championship vloggers, I know there's a couple out there that watch my channel like Doron Tor and Jack Pugsley, both Nottingham Forest fans, which Want to do my best to hook up with them, hopefully, when they come to Oakwell or we go to their city ground, I do believe it's still called. Yeah, and there's a couple Derby vloggers and lean vloggers. That, I don't know. If you want to collab, just drop a comment and all that good stuff. If you made it this far, can we hit 10 likes on this video? That's my aim. But yeah, there's some of my ambitions throughout the season. I can't remember how many subscribers they are on. That's how long I haven't looked at YouTube for. But yeah, I'm going to be doing my vlogs, like I say. My reviews for the game I don't go to. It's just going to be all Barnsley, all Championship. So it's just going to be update, update, update. I'm going to do some transfer rumours. If we sign anyone, if we sell anyone. Videos like that, building up to the game. I'm going to do my live streams and stuff like that. So yeah, they're the main ones. My vlogs, my pre, my reviews, review for the game I don't go to. And the live streams and also the collabs if anybody wants to collab. So we can help each other grow. That would be amazing. I've also got my own car now. So a lot more away games. Like I say, there's over 23 teams minus your own team. I'll go into a mall and half. There's at least 13 away grounds I could go to. But yeah, that's good. I'm really looking forward to next season. Hopefully we sign a few players. And hopefully we can stay up. And yeah, I just want to create good championship content. So like I say, if you somehow made it this far and you're new. Please subscribe. Let me know like how I can change my videos, make them better, what other stuff I can do besides my vlogs and stuff like that. I could do like weekly predictions, like before each, say on a Friday night, say it's like match day one, do my predictions, then come back Sunday and do a review on my predictions and see how well I do. I could do that. But let me know what you guys want to see. It's what you guys want to see. Also, like I probably know I've got ads on my video, so that's making a bit of money. And so hopefully I can afford to go to some more away games. So yeah, the longer you watch the videos, the more it helps me out as a content creator. And I just started this as a bit of fun, but now we're actually growing. So yeah, Championship 2019 slash 2020 is, I think it's going to be a good year for the Reds. I don't think we're going to sell many players. I think we're going to be pretty strong next year. We're carrying, uh, we're carrying on our insane home record. We haven't lost in the, in a home in the league since till last March when we lost to Millwall 3-2 I do believe but yeah some new grounds next year like Huddersfield they've come down from the Prem they're local Cardiff and Fulham came down and there's some other teams unfortunately Sheffield United has gone up so that's one less Yorkshire derby and Rotherham went down that's one less Yorkshire derby but we've also got Hull who's quite local Sheffield Wednesday was quite local and Leeds were quite local so yeah Bolton also went down. They're not too far from where I live, which is a shame. Villa, that was going to be a good away day, but there's nothing wrong with a derby away day because their ground is beautiful as well. Really nice ground. But yeah, there's going to be some new grounds hopefully next year and more away days. So if you somehow made it this far, you're amazing. Like I say, you can get 10 likes. Subscribe if you're new. Championship content is coming, guys. Don't you worry. It's going to be good. I'm going to be uploading weekly, weekly, weekly. As soon as the season starts, up to the season, it's just going to be every couple of weeks maybe or a video every week so if you are subscribed you're looking forward to the journey you red fans 
have faith. We're going to do well next season. I believe we can do it. So, yeah, thank you for watching. If you made it this far, you're amazing. Like I say, roll on the season. The fixtures come out in about 19 days. So, yeah, let's hope we get a good, nice away day at Leeds United on the first day of the season. How good would that be, Reds fans? Thank you for watching, guys. See you next time.